Yakutia, the coldest populated region in our planet. In this region of the permafrost, many unique animals are concentrated. And above all, on the tops of the mountains of Yakutia, Chubuku lives, the snowiest of the snow sheep. Mountain hunting, Yakut bighorn sheep. In 2017, mountain hunter Sergei Mazurkevich set a goal in one season to get a trophy of every subspecies bighorn sheep. Once taken the Kamchatka sheep, Putaranski sheep prohibited to hunt, he had to give five more. At the beginning of the season in the Magadan region, he took the Kalima snow sheep. The most difficult hunt continues in the Khabarovsk region. Hunting target Ahotsk subspecies. Bad weather and limited time do not allow the hunter to get a good trophy. The hunter flies to Kamchatka to the Karak Autonomous District, where with two experienced hunters produces a great trophy of the Karak sheep. Hunter moves to the border of Chukotka, where takes the excellent trophy of the Chukchi sheep. After, he returns for the Ahotsk sheep, which did not take two months ago. He shoots at the fleeing male at a distance of 680 meters. There is an Ahotsk sheep! Yakut Bighorn Sheep, or Chubuk, the last position in the list of hunter. To get it, must go to the east of Yakutia. It is necessary to overcome more than 7,000 kilometers. Most of the route is in the flight to Yekaterinburg Yakutsk with a transfer in Moscow. Sergei Motorin meets at Yakutsk airport. He and his brother Konstantin are the organizers of the hunt for the Yakut Bighorn Sheep. My hunting farm works about five years. We had about 60 clients, mostly foreigners. We started working with the Mountain Hunters Club. Everyone came and took, sometimes, two trophies. The remaining 750 kilometers to drive by car, by the famous federal highway R504, which is better known as the Kalim Trail, or Road on the Bones. This is a gigantic transport artery, 2,032 kilometers long, through the permafrost, Yakutsk to Magadan. The route is crossed by rivers and lakes. In winter, cars drive on ice. Sometimes it ends in tragedy. Very difficult to move. If the car gets stuck, we have two, three hours only. After, car freezes until spring. Road partly from rubble and soil. But you cannot relax. You can often see a broken transport on the highway. The construction of the track started in 1932 by prisoners of the Gulag. Almost by hand, using shovels and picks, they built the road for transportation of coal and gold. Built year round. A lot of people died from hard work, cold, and hunger. The dead were laid under the road. That's why road was called Road on the Bones. Survivors say that remains of a prisoner under the road every 100 meters. The first point is the village Handaga. Let's go drink some tea. Team stays overnight here. Yakutia is the largest and sparsely populated Russian region. More than 40% of the region is located above the Arctic Circle. 
the highest point, Mount Victory, 3,147 meters. In winter, temperature can reach minus 70 degrees Celsius. Low temperature make hunting more difficult. In November, more sheep and hunting becomes more interesting. But the cold climate, it is difficult to hunt. Not everyone copes with a temperature minus 35 degrees Celsius. Sometimes freezes the weapon. Physically difficult hunt. 5 a.m. We rested. Temperature minus 40 degrees. We spend the night in a warm apartment. We need to drive 280 kilometers to the base, where we'll hunt for the Yakut sheep. Hunting will be near the village Nizhdaninske, 200 kilometers from the village of Voymakon. The coldest points of the planet where people live. If he is warmly dressed, he will be warm. Well, 40 degrees below zero. The second hunt for a Hotsk snow sheep significantly reduced the schedule. Previously, 12 days was scheduled for hunting in Yakutia. Now, there are only eight days. This means that only two days are given for the search for a trophy. We try for customers to hunt for a limited time. Ship must appear at 40 kilometers. Rams should be, because they have a mating season. We hope to see them soon, faster than we get to camp. Here! They are here! Stopped at the base of road workers, the track is being repaired. Performs drilling and blasting. It does not interfere with two sheep, which live near the base. Now the period of mating in sheep. Three, four days more. They are going to herds up to 50 individuals. There is a large selection. But cold. Gone to the right. Yes, I saw. We must look along the forest. The second stop, the abandoned village Nizhdaninske. Here is one of the largest gold deposits in Russia. Come on, come on! Gold was found here in 1951. In 1993, more than 2,000 people lived in the village. But very soon, the village ceased to exist. Mining was considered ineffective. Funding has been terminated. Some work is still ongoing. In general, Nizhdaninske is a ghostly village. But in some houses still live. What the f*** are you not greeting, mother I went in and said hello Uncle Peter is a local habitant, our man. Okay. Six beautiful sheep stand on top. Uncle Peter is a local old dweller. He will help the team drive the last 80 kilometers on his truck. The hardest part of the route. Minus 36. Passable. Frost is dry. The guys promise that the camp will be warmer. Now, Ural warm up and go win through the frost. The last 80 kilometers pass up the riverbed. Going alone is very dangerous. If the car falls through the ice, it will freeze in a few minutes. If you don't get the car right away, the car will not go further. Three cars will move together help each other. If one gets stuck, others will come to help. Sanya, go here! Tell us a plan of action. The plan has changed. We will drive another hour. The hardest is 20 kilometers of ice. 
We will get up at 6 a.m. Today we will eat, sleep, we will load things into cars. In the morning we'll go right away. Local dweller gave us his home. Here we will spend time around 12 hours. At 5 a.m. we will gather in another house. The day was coming to an end. Driving the difficult route at night is very dangerous. May have to move all day. In his case, the hunt will be only one day. Hard route is the second difficulty of this hunt. With the first rays of the sun, the team began to warm up. Gas 66 and Land Cruiser worked a title all night. Uncle Petter Zural have loaded things and insulated with double glazed windows. It remains only to start a car. Temperature minus 41 degrees. It was necessary to warm up yesterday and keep work at idle all night. In the morning we began to wind up, but the engine worked hard. Accumulator is cold. Everything is cold. The old bone shaker does not want to start. We can't start a frozen car. Engine will break. We will warm up the motor oil. At 9 a.m., Soviet rover came to life. At last, car is working. It's alive! Gold mining by open pit is hazardous to health. We had a chance to get out of here. And that's good for us. The car was loaded with the maximum amount of fuel. At 9 a.m. the team move off. At night the temperature was minus 45 degrees. But the river is not covered with ice due to strong flow. Life in extreme conditions makes its own tuning. For example, this old truck has no brakes. It can only be stopped when engines slow down. Lack of brakes exclude freezing pads when driving on ice water. Ice in the river is such a lying thing. It seems that the river is covered with a strong crust of ice. But its thickness may be only 20 to 30 centimeters. If the machine fails, it will not be able to move at all. Jeep is unlikely to pass. Ural rides like an icebreaker. Well, track started. It doesn't drive here exactly. Thin eyes could not stand. The car should get faster. Cars frozen in the ice, the usual picture for Yakutia. Those who could not get the car out of the ice are forced to leave it until spring. Break the ice with a truck! This is an icebreaker! We 
We do not drink vodka. We eat sweets. All right. We drove with difficulty. Mechanisms on the car covered with ice. The car stopped turning. It took time to fix it. We have never had such a cold hunt. Overcoming 80 kilometers took seven hours. Cars got stuck often. Sometimes they were in a bind. Used all possible tricks to get them out. Gas 66 drove better than others. Shishiga easily overcame the most difficult areas. It's deep here. Japanese G is good also. Of course we'll do it. But sometimes they had to clear the way. It was the longest road of my hunt life. Wild boar has big fangs and very sharp. Sharpened? Yeah. Many years ago I killed a lot of them with a shotgun. We have time to relax in a new place. Our plan, getting up at 5 a.m., breakfast at 5.30, at 6 a.m. we go to hunt. We settled in such a place. Looks not so beautiful, but warm and comfortable. They can live here. Breathing outside at minus 44 degrees is hard. But here it's easier. The road was difficult. What will be the hunt? Team was divided. Sergei, Konstantin and Vasil went in search of a snow sheep. Others are gone to hunt moose. Here it is. Good horns. There were many snow sheep. Among them were many singles. He's among the bushes. Later, the hunters saw a group of four sheep. Behind the mountain are four rams. Two of them are good. Have to go left, climb to the top, and crawl along the ridge. The distance to the sheep will be 300 to 400 meters. Big horns may leave at any time. Hunters must climb 600 meters as quickly as possible. To do this in winter outfit is very difficult. Hard climb. Lots of clothes and everything is wet. Foot slip. Snowshoes broke earlier near the car. It's hard to go without them. Feet are cold. But the body burns like a bathhouse. The main thing is not to stop and go. See this bush? Yes, I do. Now, we will leave our backpacks here and crawl there. Rams is out there somewhere. Sergei began to prepare for the shot. All four rams were on the mountainside. There was almost no wind. The hunter measured the distance and angle. In the first shoot, arrow from the target separated 550 meters of cold air. They stand close together. The hunter made all the necessary calculations and ready to make a shot. 
but there was no shot. The second click on the trigger, just click again. The hunter checks the weapon. He needs to warm his weapon. Sergei's carbon froze. Everything is frozen on the way. WD-40 is a good tool for this. The shutter mechanism is frozen. 560 meters. Such a cold hunt for the Yakut sheep. November is so cold. Meanwhile, the sheep rose higher. After seven minutes, the shutter is still covered with frost. fell and began to roll on a steep mountainside. Right on target! 460 meters! There is one! It seems that the second ram is injured too! After the shot, the other ram jumped unusually. Looks like he was hit by a bullet that went right through. This confirms that the ram ran down the slope after the shot. Two other sheep ran upstairs. It was decided to take a wounded sheep. Rams come together again. Distance about 500 meters. Yes, 495 meters. He's below. Hey! The first time I have this, the carabiner froze. The ram tried to climb, but continued to roll down the slope. Two shots, two rams. I pulled the trigger, but the weapon does not shoot. Hands froze, shutter froze. We were lucky the ships waited for us. Thanks to the team. Vasily and Kostya, thank you very much. Convinced of the skill of shooting. We must believe, make mistakes and believe again. You followed me to the top easily. Today for the first time I didn't take my carbon. Sergei convinced me not to take. The hunt ended in double success. Now hunters need to find their trophies. Both rams were in the same place, at a distance of 10 meters. One of them had two wounds. The bullet hit the chest. The day was ending. There is no time now. We'll leave the carcass here and pick up tomorrow. The hunters carried the sheep to the forest and left it until morning. The time, 2.40, and after an hour it will be dark. We have flashlights, but can they work at minus 35 degrees? We did it! And at minus 40 degrees, mountain hunting can also have a good result. Costa made a scarecrow. Two predators do not come to meet at night. In the evening, hunters meet in the camp. Mission complete. Kirill and Alexander take two large moves. This is one of the fastest and best of our hunts. Temperature minus 35 degrees. We get home. So, the coldest mountain hunt was successful. Sergei's goal achieved. The worthy trophies are taken from every subspecies of bighorn sheep in one hunting season. Hunter's Works awarded. The Hunter's Club presented Sergei the Snow Rams of Russia statuette of a diamond level, a big cup of the Russian mountain hunter.
as well as the special prize Mountain Hunter 2017. As a hunter who took the greatest number of trophies in a year. But everything is just the beginning. Ahead of the new unconquered peaks. Effective shots. And unique trophies. Trophy Hunt. New season.